right, ST43 teachers, I've got a different one for you today. This one is working with PDFs. So a lot of the time we have documents that are PDFs and uh, especially when we're working in teams and we want students to work on top of the document or edit the document, PDFs can be difficult. So I've got some solutions for you on how to change your PDFs into Word documents so that they are editable by your students. So the first solution is the easiest and should be the go-to uh, that you try the first time with any document. And it is uh, to convert a PDF to a Word document simply by dragging the PDF into Word. So you can see here's Word. I've got it opened up and I'm just going to drag it over to the screen a little bit so that I can take my PDF here that I've got on my desktop and I'm just going to drag it over to Word and just drop it. You'll notice that this brings up a window that basically says, do you want to convert this? And I do. So I can choose not to show this again next time, but I wanted you to see that. And so I'm going to press OK. So this has taken the PDF document and it has converted it into a Word document. The great thing is that before, in a PDF form, this was not editable, but now it is. If I save this document and upload it to Teams in an assignment, the kids will be able to edit in here. All right, let's try option number two. So I'm not gonna save this. So option number two is to use Adobe Acrobat. So. Adobe Acrobat should be installed on your computer. If it's not, or you're having trouble with the uh, sign-in process to Adobe Acrobat, please uh, contact uh, one of the Lit Team members and we can walk you through how to do that. Um, but it should be installed and you should be able to use it. Sometimes when you open up a PDF, it will automatically open up in a browser, but we don't want that. We want to open it up in Adobe Acrobat. So I'm going to right click on it. And instead of pressing open, so mine says Adobe, open with Adobe Acrobat. Yours might say open with Edge or open with Chrome. We want to actually go to open with, and we want to choose Adobe Acrobat DC, okay? So now you'll see that I cannot edit this in uh, Adobe. This is, this is just the template. So I can export it to Word. So if I go File, Export to Microsoft Word, and I want to choose the first one because this is the most current version of Word. I'm going to click like that. Uh, you can see that it's going to go to the desktop and it's saved as a Word document. So I'm gonna save it like that. This will initialize, it'll work it through, and boom, there it is. Okay, so I have saved it. You can see that it has transformed it, and now this again is now editable text. Again, you might wanna take out the spaces for students because it'll just move things over, but it works. So there we go. The last way is actually to use your phone and to use an app called Office Lens to take a picture of a printed document and turn it into an editable Word document. So using Office Lens on my phone, I'm going to take a picture. So I open up Office Lens and I take a picture of the document. I can choose to crop it however I want, but Office Lens does a pretty good job of of identifying the document itself. I'm going to press done. But before I move on, I'm going to actually choose filters and choose the black and white setting because I don't want my document to have any uh, color. I want the white to be really white. I'm going to choose the back arrow and press done. And then on my screen, I'm going to choose Word. This will then transfer the document to Word from my phone. Once it's uploaded on my phone or from my phone, 
I can go into my documents and scroll to OneDrive, scroll down to Office Lens, and then I'll look for the most recent one. In this case, the most recent one is this bottom one here and open it up. You'll see that it takes a second and there it is. And it's open it up in Word. You can see that the alignment is a little bit off here and some of the lines aren't quite as they were. I can easily edit those and then put that up into Teams for my students as an assignment. That's it. Thank you.